Dear Emily and Wayne, my thoughts and prayers are there with you on this the happiest of days, your wedding. Even though I'm unable to be there in person, my best wishes are there for you. Having family and friends there makes it even more special. How wonderful to have found each other, to share your love. Here are a few of my words to consider. Understanding, helpfulness, consideration, forgiveness, prudence with funds, and this, as one never knows what challenges life could make. Working together, playing together, to name a few. My wish is that your love will grow as mine did for Grampy. Have a wonderful time today. Be thankful for all the love that surrounds you, especially from me, your Grampy. Emmy, uh, when we first met, I thought, wow, you're really pretty. <laughs> and by the end of the first date, I remember thinking you were super smart, funny, driven, caring, and I was really impressed by your extensive knowledge of football. <laughs> Those that know me know that I love to do research, and I may or may not do a little too much research before making a decision, and because of this, one of us usually takes longer than the other to make a choice. <laughs> so, although you made a, may have thought I was taking my time in the beginning, I was just doing research. <laughs> I know it's cliche to say, but I truly knew you were the one that first day we met. Yes, my judgment may have been a bit impaired after three beers on an empty stomach, <laughs> but I still knew. I felt comfortable around you immediately. We all know I have some quirky tendencies, like my sarcasm, how scary I get when I'm hangry, and my goofy sense of humor, and you've accepted them and me since day one. I shouldn't be surprised, though, that I knew after the first date. If I kept track of how many people told me after they met you how amazing you were or how much they loved you, it would be in the hundreds. I remember the time when we got separated at the airport in Morocco and you rushed through the airport to say goodbye, goodbye to me one last time, and, and I, I don't know if I'm gonna make it through this. <laughs> You're good. Uh, and I had this overwhelming feeling that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you, but I still had to do a little bit more research. <laughs> you have a unique way of connecting with people immediately without even trying. I really love that about you. I'm truly honored that you asked me to marry you. The guy with the soothing voice, a smile that could melt your heart, arms that most men envy, <laughs> chose me. Now that we're here and we've made this incredible commitment to one another, I want you to know that there's some things they promise you. There are a few things I can't fully promise, like that I will stop yelling profanities at the Patriots when they make dumb plays, or that I will stop being a backseat driver, but we don't need to spend much time on those. <laughs> um, and then there was a time I got really, really sick in Boston and I had to go to the emergency room um, and, and you stayed by my side all night and in that moment for me you shattered any remaining doubts or reservations or insecurities. I, I knew I had found my soulmate, uh, my best friend, uh, the one I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Emmy, I love you. I love you so much. You helped me become the person I am today. And with you as my wife, I'll be a better person tomorrow. <laughs> Life with you is so easy and fulfilling. I appreciate how much effort you've put into getting to know and love my family. You're the son and brother they never had. I appreciate how you're always up for an adventure and love to travel with me. I appreciate your passion for pizza. <laughs> I appreciate your drive to make this world a more diverse, equitable, and inclusive place. We need more change makers like you. I love your analytical mind, your desire to research something until you're completely sure of something. <laughs> you balance out my desire to make a decision five seconds after being presented with the options. In retrospect, it's no wonder I knew immediately that I wanted to marry you, and it took you several months. <laughs> you were doing your research on me, reached out to referrals, conducted a thorough background check. It was only then that you thought, okay, I'll give it a try. Wayne. Every day, you make me feel like the best version of myself. 
In three short years, we've endured so much, and I can't wait to see what the next 90 have in store. I love you deeply and endlessly. You're my source of motivation. You inspire me each and every day. You're my travel buddy, my silly partner in crime. You are the most caring and strongest person I know. I love that you always set your alarm to wake up just a little bit earlier than you have to just so you can cuddle with me. You're so ambitious, you're so funny. Your smile brightens up any and every room and your laughter makes everything better. Now, from this day forward, I promise to love you, laugh with you, protect you and comfort you in times of sorrow. I promise to respect you and support you, to be patient with you, to work by your side to achieve the things that we value and dream of and to cherish our time together. I promise to give you back massages, even when I don't feel like it. <laughs> I promise to always be your hype man. <laughs> I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when our love is simple and when it's not so simple. Lastly, I promise to always root for the Patriots. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> unless they're playing the 49ers. <laughs> Emmy, I can't imagine life without you. You bring me so much joy and happiness. I can't wait to build a life with you. You're going to be the most amazing mother to our kids. I'm so lucky and blessed that we found each other. I love you.